Okay. This is this is the plasma filter where patient's plasma is being filtered out and it goes out and it goes into the anti contamination chamber here. And this anti contamination chamber um where it usually drains the the other end it usually drains into the into the dialysis port on the dialysis machine. But with this glycosol column that we are using, we are actually returning patient's plasma back to patient um, after it's been um, um, filtered, after the plasma has gone through the glycosol. Okay, let's begin with this again. We'll see line the end where patient's plasma is being drained and is this connected into a Y connector. This Y connector has to have the um, one end, the one side has to be a female uh, female connection connection and the other two side, the other two end the other two end has to be a male male end. Has to be a male end, otherwise it won't fit into the micro drip set. Okay. Then, because we need three micro drip set, and this uh, Y connector is only the only out, the only two connect, uh, two 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 connector, two lines. So we need two Y similar Y connectors, where one side is goes into the micro drip set, the other side goes to into another another Y connector, where the end. The other end, two end, can be connected to two micro drip sets. Then all these three lines are put into the infusion pump, and you can you can see that we actually infuse back at a rate of almost three liters per hour. So, and and towards the other end of this infusion pump, where the three lines. Are connected to one octopus line. Octopus line has got three ends which can fit into the uh, infusion set. And this octopus line, four-way connector, is connected into a glycosol uh, um, column, which is then connected to the venous bubble trap on the dialysis machine and returned to the patient. And we do not require blood warmer because we are returning patient's plasma straight away and we are not using products from the blood bank which is cool um, yeah. but on the machine you will notice that because we are bypassing the dialysis and, and as a result of that uh, the TMP uh, fluctuates as it fills and fills and drains and because of the TMP, we today we are just running at a pump speed of 150 mils per minute. And the US rate that we have put in is 3,000 mils per hour, and a total bowl of um, 29 liters, and the treatment is over three hours. So the rate of in, uh, ultrafiltration is is about the same as what is uh, going back to the patient.